if you want to succeed in arm wrestling beat up all your friends at school i found for myself after being an arm wrestler for two years half of a year professionally that technique is very important and it plays half of the whole success and i'm here not to like to break down every technique that exists in arm wrestling in professional arm wrestling there are three main techniques top roll hook and shoulder press and let's start with my favorite one top roll there is attacking top roll and defensive let's start with attacking firstly we need to understand that top roll is when you fight outside in hook you fight inside our main goal in top roll is to go as high as we can and open up open his wrist and pull to the pin pad the main movement that we do is pronation i'm gonna show here on your screen we work with our pronator quadratus muscle and if you have this strong movement you're gonna open up open his wrist as can opener we also need to pull open into our side using back pressure also gonna show now on your screen and you can see his uncomfortable position his fingers are loaded and now you're gonna kill him pulling to the pin pad Firstly, we need to open up his wrist using pronation and our fingers. Next, we pull our opening with back pressure. Then we pin him with our whole body pressure and side pressure. Defensive top roll is used by the most famous arm wrestler on the scene, Devon Larratt. What we need to do is to give some position to our opponent and we need to crack his wrist back when he's close to our pin pad because in this position it's easier to control his wrist rather than his arm and here in this position when his wrist is cracked back we need to work with our uh, side pressure to pin him little note i want to say that defensive top roll is for quite advanced people when you're gonna understand attacking top roll then i recommend you to go into defensive top roll because you need some kind of knowledge in arm wrestling to to pull in this style pronator is the same muscle as every other muscle in our body we need to we need to strengthen it to strengthen our top roll now actionable step for this part of the video you know you can grab your your backpack with like five or six kg and make the pronation movement as it was on the screen and try to feel this movement to get understanding of it go and try to do it right now while you're watching this video to have some progress now moving to the hook there is also attacking and defensive hook let's start with attacking one what we need to do is to go inside and curling each other's wrists and now it's time to work with our side pressure you need to pull your open into the pin pad but be aware that your body needs to move parallel to your hand so you won't get any traumas or something like that and with good angles you'll pin him easily Defensive hook is often used when you're stronger than your opponent and you both want to test your endurance. Now what we need to do is to also go inside but you give your opponent position away when you're kind of close to the pin pad but your wrist is curled and you hold him with your bicep using your good angles. Make sure that your angles stay stay like 45, 60 degrees. If you open up your angle, you're easy to lose this round. So the movement when you go inside with your opponent is called supination. It's opposite to the pronation. I'm gonna show here on the screen. As the pronator muscle, it also can be strengthened. Your actionable step, go also grab your back with some weight and try to feel this movement, how it works. And also you can take your mother's or sister's hand and just try to replicate what you've just seen what i've just shown maybe you know top roll her hook her and see what's better for you a little hint when you fight in hooks if you see that your fingers are headed to the you know sky to the ceiling it means that you lost your pronator and it means that you're holding only on your bicep when your opponent is holding his pronator and he's working with his forearm more efficiently Make sure that in most fights you get your fingers looking to the side. You can understand that you're working with your pronator and forearm itself. The last technique is shoulder press. And I need to warn you that this is the most dangerous technique from these three. And if you do it incorrectly, you're gonna get trauma 100%. In this technique, you need to also go inside with your opening, but you need to place your shoulder behind the forearm and try to pull to the pin pad like hammer coming down. In this technique, you're just going down, working with your tricep, most of the movement. So tricep here is very important. And also this technique can save you at some tournaments when you need to 
surprise your opponent and you immediately go and attack him down with shoulder press. The anthropometry is quite important when you choose your technique, you need to stick to it. Each technique fits different kind of body, for example top roll fits you know tall guys with long levers and hook pre prefers short guys with short levers. Based on this I chose my technique top roll because I'm 605 fit. The top roll fits me very well but there are a lot of guys that maybe short or maybe long and they choose a top roll or hook opposite to their anthropometry and it's absolutely okay what, what is comfortable for you. The, the most important thing that you need to look at when you choose your technique is uh, comfortability. Choose the most comfortable technique and be okay with that. Now when we know all these three techniques, we need to get some practice. But first, you gotta know the main rules in arm wrestling. If you move or lift the elbow from the pad, it's fall. Two falls and you lose the round. If you and your opponent both are top rollers, you will possibly slip out and you'll be strapped up. A little note, it's better for you in the straps if you have a weaker wrist than your opponent. If you can't take grip with your opponent, there's gonna be a referee grip when you and your opponent are placed equally. Now when you know the rules, actionable step for this part of the video. Firstly, when you meet up with your friends or you know brothers, you can just find some table and pull a bit with warm up of course, test out every technique that you've seen and rightly choose the best one. Warning, warning, warm up before the every session or training, otherwise you'll get a lot of traumas every single day. As I've said, shoulder press is very dangerous and my friend got this trauma gonna clip the video here you know we don't we don't need this shit with going to the doctors and just warm up for five minutes and be absolutely fine with traumas stay healthy and strong as always